successful Hollywood sequel. It's to create a hero who evolves without abandoning his nature. Brett Favre is exactly that. He won as a reckless youngster. Now he wins as a grizzled veteran. Still as unpredictable and fun-loving as he was a decade ago. As Marlon Brando once said about acting, you are only as good as you dare to be bad. Brett Favre may be the NFL's greatest risk taker, and that's why we love him. In Saturday's NFC Divisional matchup with Seattle, the bold approach that has defined his career was on display again, when facing a third and eight situation late in the first half. Step to Favre and third down, looking downfield, he's hit, spins away, stumbling, rolling right, shovels it forward, he's got down the lead inside the five, down to the three-yard line, oh, you talk about improvisation, Brett Favre with a shovel to down the lead for 11 yards and a first and goal to Green Bay. Favre's improv set up Ryan Grant's second touchdown of the day. Green Bay took a 28-17 lead, and the route was on. The flip was a snapshot in a career full of brash photo album moments. He flips it into the end zone, touchdown Green Bay! Where most quarterbacks are concerned about mistakes and turnovers, Favre will try the unthinkable. The uncoachable, the unpredictable. And often pull it off. Far it up, don't touch that. Far looking. Now far looking to the right. Far is on the run. Far is down the sideline. Far touchdown. He dies into the end zone. Unbelievable. What a way to get this team into the playoffs. That wasn't growing up, believe me. That was one of those hoping a prayer. Sandlot plays. Yep. Uh, I think I'm better that way. Favre's longevity has allowed him to rewrite the record books. But it's not the records he takes with him as much as the story he leaves behind. This journey has been a tale of overcoming obstacles of all sorts. Emotional, mental, and physical. He truly symbolizes the spirit of the game. The common man who shows up for work every day and gets his job done with a smile and a little chutzpah. At 38 years old, the body moves a little slower. But as far as showed last weekend, the mind remains spry. And the magic is still there. With a little more magic this weekend against the Giants, he could get that Super Bowl sequel he has long for.